What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the OnePlus 8 Pro and today we're back with the Casey Murano Shield. This is going to be the Crash Guard Bumper Series that was just released for I think 30 bucks or so, 24 to 25 bucks maybe. Uh, look around for some coupon codes, it bumps the price down a little bit. Uh, this is actually going to be for one of those cases that everybody wants to maybe rock a skin on like a deep brand skin or whatever you're gonna whatever skin you want to rock with it or if you just really like some bare bones protection that's going to give you some a nice edge to edge protection but nothing on the back so it's really for a couple of different people but really it's probably going to keep that minimalist approach of the phone itself so you're going to get some basic protection so let's go and check this one out to see if it's going to be a hit or miss on a side note if you guys have any type of uh skins you want me to check out Put it up in the comment section. I get as many suggestions as humanly possible. I really appreciate you guys. Crash Guard bumper right there. Rhino Shield got a little bit of branding. And then the logo. And then really nice drop protection. 11 foot drop protection is pretty impressive for this style case. Obviously you're just getting that edge to edge protection around the bumper area. And nothing on the back. But that's still pretty impressive. And then the back's going to tell you about the fit. All that good stuff. So let's go and check this out guys. I know you guys have been waiting on this one to see if it's a hit or a miss. Let's go and check it out. Put this to the side. So this is it, guys. This is what you're going to get. A bumper, this is a bumper case. Nothing in the middle. Nothing on the back. This is just a basic. It's a lot of flexible to it. It's a flex. Look at that. Very just unique design. Not a lot of companies do the bumper only case like Rhino Shield. Now, what you can see here, this is what you're going to get for actual protection. These You can see the interior. Trying to get a little better view with that it's on the camera. Look at it. So you can see that design right there. This little design is going to give you that extra impact protection. And it's all the way around the bumper itself. This kind of like pattern. That's probably the best view I can get you guys. That pattern right there is full edge to edge around the corners of the bumper. So that's where you're going to get that impact protection being that almost 12 foot impact protection. So that's what you're going to get. You can see you got a little bit of branding right there for Rhino Shield. Alert slider. Some people like this. Some people don't. It, it's like an actual slider right here. It's covered up. I personally like it. Some people hate it. Let me know what you guys think. And then you can see the top part. So overall, just a unique build quality. Lightweight. Shouldn't add much bulk at all. Let's take the phone. You know what we do, guys. Let's go and wipe it down. Wipe it down. Make it look beautiful for the camera. That black still looking gorgeous. Let's look at that thing. Look, look at that shine. That beautiful shine. I know I love I think I prefer matte finishes but nothing like a a phone like this that glossy finish when it's wiped down looking beautiful popping through so let's go and pop this into place and see if it's a hit I know you guys have been waiting on this one for a little while now Rhino Shield seems to drag and release their stuff a little bit later for the one post series I'm not sure why but they always seem to do it like that so let's check this one out look at that boom beautiful so what the unique thing about this one is you're getting that back coverage. So let's, this has got a pretty nice camera hump, but you can see it's raised up on the top and the back as well. So you're getting that above the actual phone itself. So you are raised up. So anybody that raw dogs their phone, you might want to think about even putting this one on because that would save your camera from getting a lot of scratches or the back just from overall use of putting it down on the actual you know table. So keep that in mind if you guys are raw, one of these people that just raw dogs your phone, which I say don't raw dog the phones. <laughs> Put a case on it. But this would, if this is what you got to do, do this. Look at that. You're still getting the nice quality effect of the phone. Grip, eh, it's okay. It's not bad. It's going to add some bulk to it. And when I say it, it's going to add some bulk, which is kind of weird because it's actually going to widen the phone. Because it's got so much protection on the actual bumper part, it actually is kind of wider than a lot of cases. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting this particular one. But I like the way they do this one. Slap a skin on it. We'll check out a few, but nicely designed. You can see how it's raised up right there. So you are getting some camera protection. Look at that. That's probably the best view. You are getting some camera protection. See? Not crazy. And I would say on the sides, you're probably not getting as much, but... This part here is raised up in the bottom part, so it keeps gives you a barrier between the table or whatever and being flush. So keep that in mind if you're looking at this particular phone case. Let's go and check out the lip. We already looked at the back lip. Let's check out the front lip because everybody likes a fat lip. And you got some decent lip protection, nice lip protection, top, bottom, 
So that's actually pretty good lip protection for a phone case these days. Volume up and down, clicky and responsive. It's a little stiffer than some of them. It's actually a, a plastic. You can see it's kind of like they uniquely made it. And I think it could be better. But overall, not too bad. Check out the ports. Look good. Better view right there. Speaker grill looks good. Not too bad. You got a little branding right there from Mono Shield. Almost forgot about that. Power button. And then the alert slider. And I actually like this. Some people may hate this. Some people, I just like how that's easy access. No issues at all. Turns it on. Silent. So you don't have to worry about that if you're in you know, a meeting or something like that. And you're like, oh, I forgot to silent it. Boom. I like that. To me, I like that a lot. So is this a hit or miss? I think that really goes for what you're looking for. If you're looking for a case like this, just bare bones protection, you're not too worried about scratches on the back, but you want to actually want to get a little camera protection. Or if you're looking for some skins to compatible, you know, it's com we'll see if it's compatible. Usually there are, they kind of have to, you kind of have to work it out a little bit to make it compatible, but usually they do work to kind of uniquely design your actual OnePlus phone to be a little bit different than everybody else that's rocking one of these. So I'll say it's a hit. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Hit or miss, we're going to call it a hit. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.